After you beat Fire Emblem 3 Houses, I think generally if you like the game and you want more, then you simply start another new game file and choose a different house. While you get to experience another new class of students and another take on the story, it also comes with the baggage of doing all the busy work you just did to make your students stronger. I'm talking about getting more professor levels and showering your students with flowers and meals to gain more support. Well, Three Houses has taken all of this into consideration and beating the game once allows you to start a new file with New Game Plus enabled. When you beat the game, it will ask you to save and there is a prompt saying this save file will have New Game Plus enabled so save in a different slot if you want to keep your old file. New Game Plus save files are designated with a little soap this sprite on the right hand side and your game time carries over. Now, simply put, New Game Plus is awesome. It allows you to unlock features at the cost of Renown, which you gain from completing battles. In your first playthrough, I believe Renown is just used for upgrading these saint statues in the cathedral, and these give you bonuses like extra skill level experience when you instruct. What is cool is in New Game Plus is that you actually get to keep your saint statue bonuses, so from the first time you instruct your students, you'll see that you're getting the additional XP from these statues. While the rest of these features will be completely optional, I don't believe there is a way to turn off these saint statue bonuses. To spend your renown, you actually do it at Violet's Journal in their room. Here you have a ton more options. Starting at Unit Appearance, besides being able to select Violet's DLC outfits if you have them, you can now select the Time Skip War Attire for your students as well. This just affects their models I believe. Next up, you can buy Professor Levels and I immediately bought some of these. No more endless days at the fishing pond. Now for pricing, I thought these were quite reasonable. Each level is 500 renown. It shows you what buying multiple levels would cost in total, so it's not an increasing cost every time. In Chapter 3 of my new playthrough, I can already have 8 activity points, a bunch of instructing points, and I think I had 2 points for battling, so technically, this is how you can get some extra grinding in, even on hard difficulty. Next we have support levels, you can straight up buy these two if you unlock them previously. They are much more expensive with just the C rank costing 400 renown for one person. The only reason I would buy these is if you really want someone to join you early, you can get their C or B support without having to put in as much work. You can also buy skill levels for students, but again, it's only if you unlock those levels previously. Obviously, if you start with a new house, this won't be very useful except for Byleth. This actually was extremely handy for me because I wanted to make my Byleth a magic user this time. It's tough to level up magic since you can't faculty train a bunch yet. However, I could just buy my Byleth a D rank in Reason because they had it from the last playthrough, and that gets them the fire spell immediately. Problem solved. Along with skill levels, you can actually just buy class mastery abilities. I believe you will need to have mastered it beforehand, but this is pretty handy because I can just instantly master the mercenary class and my Violet gets the advantage skill. If you want to make some fun builds without having to grind out an entire class mastery, then this is how you can make things much easier. Finally, we have crest items. These are completely new, and crest items are items you can give your units, and they will have crest abilities. Crest items take up a spot in your inventory but are not equipable, so you can still equip like a shield. You can get the crest items for characters you previously had in your save file. So, for example, I had Linhart playing as the Black Eagles, who has the crest of Seth Lean, so I have the Light Dragon sign. You can purchase crest items you don't have for 1000 renown a pop, but I don't know if that's really worth it. A couple more bonuses is that in New Game Plus, you can also get to carry over all the battalions you had before. So not only does this save you money from buying them again, but you can get different battalions you normally wouldn't have access to. Like even though I'm playing as the Blue Lions now, I could use the Black Eagle battalions once I reach the right authority level. The shops also have their full inventory available, like I can purchase Silver Swords and Master Seals, but it's not like I can use them in the early game. The additional special merchants are not here, so you're going to have to unlock them through their quest like usual, I assume. Another feature of New Game Plus is getting access to a new area. This is technically a small spoiler, but nothing shown is really going to affect your view on the story or anything, just a warning. Now, I did not use the amiibo gazebo in my first playthrough, but basically it lets you scan any amiibo and you get items on the ground you can pick up. I think it was any amiibo, but correct me if I'm wrong. If you scan a Fire Emblem amiibo, I know you get more things like bonus music. In New Game Plus, I think you must scan a Fire Emblem amiibo, I used Lucina, and you get access to the Holy Tomb area. When you first enter, I talked to Sothis and got the Sothis shield which can be used once per battle to boost everyone's res for 3 turns. Along with this, you get even more items to pick up and these are much rarer things including equipables like a critical ring and stat boosters. I read this changes every time you explore so be sure to come back. A neat little incentive to go pick up some Fire Emblem amiibos. 
I think that covers everything in New Game Plus. If you plan to run it back again with a new house and you don't mind having a few extra bonuses, then by all means, New Game Plus is for you. I think this is a brilliant way to keep people playing without forcing them to grind everything out if they don't want to. Keep in mind that a lot of these features are optional, so if you want the challenge, you don't have to buy everything. I don't think you can turn off the Saint Statue bonuses, however, so technically it's not a full unhelped playthrough of the game. If you want that, you'll need to start a regular New Game file. Since I think a lot of people will want to play through the multiple houses, New Game Plus is fantastic for those looking for some fun and want to be rewarded for their playtime. If you want to recruit everyone, you can start with 10 activity points from the beginning or even buy their support levels to get things moving faster. If you want to build a super unit with class mastery abilities, then you can buy them back and work on another class. I'm pretty sure that after you beat New Game Plus, you can just keep going again and again, so uh, New Game Plus Plus technically. Not everyone plays Fire Emblem for the pure strategic challenge, and having features like New Game Plus can cater to players who just want to play the game in their own way. Overall, I think New Game Plus is a pretty good feature, especially if you're a casual player. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.